Doctor Who, The Space Pirates, Episode 3 Beacon Alpha 4 Compartment Milo, stay still, the pair of you, unless you want to follow him. Insignary Mining Office, Hermec Ah, Pen, Pen, sir, Hermec Ranger Wayne, see, need some assistance. I want you to take the ship out and stand off at 20 miles, just in case Clancy tries any tricks during the landing. Pen, very good, sir. Madeline, aren't you going to, aren't you going with, with your ship, General? Hermac, no, I shall be in charge of ground reception. Leave a section of guards, Pen, with short range missiles. Pen, you're right, sir. How long shall I keep the ship in standoff orbit, sir? Hermac, you can come in, in just as soon as Clancy hits the landing pad. Pen, sir? Pen leaves. Madeline, oh, all this for one old man. You aren't taking any chances, are you, Hermac? That is why I'm a general, madam. H- Madeline. Well, what will happen to him, Hermac? Well, I'll be taken back to the home planet and tried. Madeline, and in, and end in the Varanan prison chamber. Hermac. Well, when Clancy turned pirate, he knew the penalties if he got either as caught. Madeline. Yes. Yeah, oh, yes, I know, but I mean. I can't help feeling sorry for him. I offered to buy him. Out two years ago, Hermec, but he refused. Madeline, after offered as much more, he's worked out concessions are worth. But he could have ended his day. He could have ended his days in luxury, Hermec. Why didn't he set you off, Madam? Madeline, who knows? He's a foolish old man. Wayne, on monitor thirteen thirty, X X one to V Master. I'm receiving a no audio response from Liz in seven nine. Hermec, is Liz seventeen? Seventeen what nine on thrust or stationary? Wayne well, stationary, sir. She breathed berthed about against a section of the beacon. Hermec, right now listen. If you have get no reply within two minutes, you are to fire your warning rockets, and then if necessary, stand off and use the Martian missiles. Liz seventy nine, Wayne. This has been a fighter XX one to Liz nine seven nine. You have one minute to surrender. I repeat, you have one minute to surrender, Clancy. Are you hearing me? Beacon Alpha Four Compartment Marlow. Now come on now. If you don't answer my questions, I'm going to have to get start getting start getting tough with you, Doctor. Look, I think he's just stunned, Zoe. Now look here, my man. I'm not to be threatened in this. In this body matter, do you matter, manner? Do you understand, Marlow? Oh no, a boy, a girl, and in that case, you can't be part of the pirates. Doctor, pirates, pirates are always seed. Zoe, old oh, doctor, he's coming around. Doctor, oh Jamie, Marlow, yes, I think he's coming around, girl. I've, I've given him a quarter of blast. Hey, listen, you there? Listen, she calls you the doc. You doctor, doctor, she called you. Why did she say that? Doctor, sheer politeness. Zoe, are you right, Jemmy? Doctor, come on. Marlo, now look. I'm not going to stand any more of this nonsense. Now I want to know who you are and where you're from. Now, come on. Zoe, it's very rude to point. You know, especially with a gun, Doctor. I did. I told you she was polite. Marlo, how did you get here? Doctor, oh, we just arrived. Marlo, oh, you mean you got... You got some sort of ship you docked on the beacon. Doctor, not as much as on it as sorry in it. Milo, what inside? Now how could you be doing that? Look, that is not impossible that is not possible. Jamie, anything's possible in the TARDIS, especially when he's at the controls. Doctor, Jamie, you better Milo, you really expect me to swallow a story like that? Now look, if I can't get the truth out of you three comics in about ten seconds. Zoe, but it is the truth. Marlow one. Everything Zoe, everything we told you is true. Marlo two. Three Wayne launches two rockets. Marlo. Nine ten. Now come on, the truth. I want the whole truth. Boom. Doctor Oh, what on earth is that? Marlo, someone's firing us. Come on, let's get out of here. Doctor, hey, wait for me. Liz, Liz, Liz seventy nine. Marlow undocks from the compartment. Doctor. Ah, oh, there you are. Now who's firing at us? Is it those pirates? Marlow. Oh, no. Now quiet. I want to hear this. Listen. Wayne O.C. 
That was a warning shot, Clancy. You have no hope of getting away. Surrender, or put the next missile through your hole. Marlowe, oh my, my. It's that soft-faced puppy for the space corpse. Hang on to something, everyone. While I got, while I got to, get, got to try a little trick or two on that boy. Well, it does some sharp manoeuvres, throwing everyone on the floor. A china, china teapot falls out of the cupboard and breaks. Wait, well, I see you moving, Clancy. I'll give you ten seconds to turn about. Ten seconds and I'm sending a missile in. Well, ten seconds, the nerve of that greenhorn, saying things like that to me. Wayne, one, two, three, doctor. Don't you think it would be wiser to parley with him? Mollo, hold your hiccups, doctor. Mollo Clancy doesn't take ultimatums from nobody. Wayne, five, Jamie. Well, you can at least see what he wants. Sorry, he's going to fire a missile onto us. Mollo, I got a trick here worth ten missiles. Wayne, nine, ten. All right, Clancy. You've had your chance. Grano grabs a large lever and pulls, releasing a cloud of particles for his stern. Mollo, that's for the young greenhorn and his great newfangled toy. Get yourself out of that one, that one boy. Sorry, what happened? What did you do, Mr. Clancy? Mollo, my own invention. My little chick- chickabiddy. Two tons of copper needles are just laying out beside me. When one of these newfangled spaceships gets too close for comfort, say, but how do you copper missiles stop a spaceship? Jimmy, I and a missile. Well, well, you see, they, they've all got about, got these newfangled computer guidance systems, you see. They aggregate in the spaceship. It attracts all the copper. Then all those thousand little needles, they jigger up their computer scanners. Sorry, what's aggregate? So, Mayolo, what is Magnite? Did you learn nothing at school, girl? Sorry, they didn't teach me anything about Agonite. Well, oh, Zoe, have you ever heard of Agonite, Doctor? Tada, well, from, from what Mr. Clancy was saying, I imagine it's a metal they use in construction of spacecraft. Am I right? Mother well, of Agonite is used for, well, it's used for practically everything. It's deductible, it's tensible, it's heat proof, it's practically indestructible. Tada, magnetically parallel. Polarized for copper. Well, ah, you mean, mean to say you have on it? You have honestly never heard of aconite? It's the most expensive material in the galaxy. Doctor, I told you already. We don't come from this civilization. We are visitors. Saying, I, I hope you're not stopping. We're not stopping long. Well, oh well, you don't beat. If you don't beat jumping grasshoppers, you mean to say you travel around in time and without well, space? So, yes, well, yes, yes, you grasped the principle very well. Mullo, hey, hey, that must be a mighty interesting thing to do, Jimmy. Aye, oh, it would be if we knew where we were, go- we were going to land up every time. Dot, it's just a mere minor fault on the system, I hope so. Dot to Jamie, put it right in time. Jamie, I, sorry, you ever see the TARDIS again? Dot, oh, yes, by the way, Mr. Cl- Clancy, would it be... Would it be going out of your way to drop us into the space station, please? Well, I can't do that. It's all in bits, isn't it? Toto, oh dear, oh my word. Do you know where they are? Well, oh no, no, only the Agonite pirates know that. They're toting them, up, toting them off to, for birth salvage. Doctor, oh dear. Well, that would be difficult, one tip. Well, oh, hey, we shouldn't be sitting around here. We should get... We should be... Should we should be get going, getting the heck out of here before that General Hemmock starts to send some more minnows out. I used all, all my copper needles, Jamie. Who? Well, well, who's General Hemmock? Milo, General Hem. Um, he's a space corpse. He's trailing these pose pirates. He thinks I'm one of them. That's why I say he's bone boneheaded. Now look, let's move out of here. Excuse me. Watch out. That's it. Get over there. That's it, get over there, come on, boy. Sorry, Mr. Clancy, Marlow. Look, you're a good girl, and you promise not to cause me trouble. You can call me Marlow. Sorry. Oh, well, Marlow. There's one thing I don't understand, Marlow. Well, you're a lucky, very lucky lady. There's about a hundred thousand things I don't understand, but I can't stand around asking full questions about them. I do anything, I do something useful. You know, why don't you do something useful? Why don't you make us a pot of, all a pot of tea or something? Jamie, the pot was broken. Doctor, that would be lovely. Milo, well, there's a metal pot in the cupboard. They're made of tantalium. Doctor, tantalium? Milo, aye. 
That's what the whole spaceship's made of, tantalium. Lasted me a lifetime around the galaxy. Makes a lousy cup of tea. So, it, oh, that's what I can't understand. Well, your spaceship was affected by the copper needles. Tell me what happened to us. If one of those wee minnow things catches up with us. But, oh, don't worry, lad, they won't. I'm going to be the one. I'm not going to be... I'm going... I'm going to one place. The general will never think of looking. In signal mining office, a cloud of copper needles creating interference with the communications. Way in a monitor. We use some kind of anti-missile device, sir. Jammed all my controls. Homek, Major Wayne, you can hear me? I repeat, can you hear me? Wayne, in a monitor. Just about, sir. Homek, yet yeah, you let Lancy make a complete fool of you. Are you still tracking his ship, Wayne? Oh, I want to know, sir. My radio solar screens are out of action. Homek, what? Wayne, in a monitor. Well, I can't just sit here, just static. I request immediate assistance. I request request assistance immediately, sir. How about your request is noted? To mission names, Madeline, Madeline enters with the secretary. Madeline, there are shipping t- these are the shipping times. Send them out on the trans printer on all to all branch stations. These are the production figures and loading dates. Code them and send them to the head office right away. Priority clear. Anything wrong, General? Hermec. Yes, Clancy has escaped, Madeline. How did that happen, Mahomek? I don't know yet, but I mean to find out. May I monopolize your video channel a little while longer? Madeline, well, of course. Hermek, thank you, General Hermek. To V41. Pen, on monitor. Yes, General. Hermek, ah, oh, Pen. Did you pick up Major Wayne's last report on your monitor? Pen, on monitor. Sure, some of it, sir. A lot of interference, Hermek. Right. Now, once the rest of that minnow fleet launched, and I want Liz... Seventy-nine found and destroyed. Is that understood? Pen on monitor. Yes, sir. Hermit, report back as soon as the minnow is clear. I am. I. It is clear. I am. The minnow fighters are launched. Liz 79, Jamie, Doctor, Doctor, yes, Jamie. Jamie, you think I'm going to be sick, Doctor? Now, 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 Jamie. Willpower, willpower. So, any more tea, anyone? Milo, have another cup, if there's any, there's some there. Say, there you are. That is good as new. Milo, you've been making, has been making adjustments of a spanner. Doctor Milo? Milo, hello, Doctor. Been watching this pressure gauge. It's just a little bit high, isn't it, Milo? Yeah, it's, it's, it is a bit high. That's our phenomenon, phenomenon power, you see? Yeah, it's wearing out a bit. Nothing you can do about that. Doctor, well, except slow down. I mean, there could be a nasty explosion, couldn't there? Milo, oh, don't worry, Doctor. It's a mighty strong sh- little ship. This doesn't ma- they don't make ships like the- this these days, you know. Jamie, you can say that again. Milo, oh, don't worry, lad. We don't, haven't got far to go. Sorry, where are we going? You haven't said. Well, oh well, madam, I'll tell you, we're going to the one place where they never think of looking for us. Well, turns on the scanner. Well, that's the planet Tar. Doctor, oh, yes, it's, is it inhabited? Well, uh, yeah, it is these days. It's headquarters in Sigley Manuals Corporation. Jane, why did you say they wouldn't bother looking for us? To look for us? Well, well, you see, Madeline is, is Gary, who runs the show now. She's a sworn enemy of mine. Well, so I've been told. Anyway, General Hermack will think I'll go anywhere else rather than go there. Doctor, yes. But she's a sworn enemy. Won't she give you, won't she give you away? Mother, we don't, we won't be announcing our rival, Doctor. We'll just lie low there until the old space corps get tired of look, for looking for us. So he doesn't look as though there's anything there. This side is is, is just desert. Well, I know there's a, no surface life on the Tower Girl. There's, mu- there's too much ultraviolet radiation. Don't you worry, don't you worry. We're all right. They'll be a mile underground as long as they can fall into my old landing pad. Doctor, ah, you've been there before, have you? Well, certainly. Uh, 
Certainly he have, certainly have. Me and my old partner, Dom, is there, girly. God rest his poor little soul. We turned the whole planet to piece of generally cheese between us. Jim and Jamie, generally cheese. Doctor, Jamie, here, mining. See, I see, for agonites, presumably. Well, yeah, that's right, agonite. One of the richest strikes we ever found. Took us about ten years to drill that clean. clean. Well, I better try to find the, the old enemy shaft then. Entry shaft then. Now you better brace yourselves, but hang on even onto something. My well, landing powers aren't as good as they used to be. Jay, who cares, as long as it's quick. The signal mining office, Hermac, bring the ship on the pad free. I'll right, join you there, Pen, Pen, on a monitor. Yes, sir. Hermac, I'm sorry, you, your stay was too short, General. Hermac, well, I hope on my next visit my duty will be less pressing. But then, so do I. Where do you go from now? Hermac, well, first, oh, I must, I must go get young Wayne. Out of that fix he got himself into. Then I collect my pockets for the beacon. And after that, Lobus. Madeline, Lobus? Hermac. Hmm. Hermac. Madeline. Marlow counts his base. Hermac, the pirate's base. These beacons. We've been breaking up. Or we headed, we we'll be heading there. With a bit of luck, you should be able to wipe out the whole nest in one operation. Madeline. Well, I hope you do. Some of my crews are demanding arms in the case they attacked. On his way to the door, Hermic notices a model of a sleek black boat spaceship. Hermic, is that, is it that, it's that black dart, that is a data dart. Madeline, yes, yes, our company just brought two. Our uh, fastest fighters, Hermic, oh, I must bear that in mind. Parts of a beat of darts. I shall hate to knock that one out of your ships by mistake. Madeline, well, I don't think that's likely. All I was afraid to show his signal, signal he knows, Cone. When they into the commission, she slides a pattern nose cone onto his model. Madeline, I designed it myself, Mahomet. Ah, the very distinctive. How much does it cost? Madeline, oh, 100 million credits upwards. Depends on the fittings. What do you ask, Mahomet? I was just wondering where Molo Kalansi got 100 million credits. Madeline, I see. You think he got if by selling the stolen agronite? Hermic, why not? It's logical. There's an illicit market for them on the retomated ragman. I hear. Uh, Madeline, yes, I'm sure you're wrong about Milo Clancy. Hermic, are you? I'm not. He's selling this stuff and professing poverty as a cover. If I find his beacon sections online for Lobus, he'll not live to join his money. Madeline, goodbye, General. Hermit, goodbye, Mr. Signay. Thank you for the hospitality. Here's 79. Liz lands with a big bump. Every frame, everybody ran again. Milo, nice smooth landing after all. To me smooth? What do you call a rough landing, Milo? What's the matter with you, Sonny? You're getting soft or something? Jamie, just let me get my feet back on the ground, that's all. Milo, you stay right there where you're safe, boy. Jamie, safe? Is that what you call this? Doctor, you want us to stay here? Milo, yeah, I'm thinking of your own safety. Jamie, why? By the well, we're a mile underground here. This is the old freighter dock. There's nothing to see. There's nowhere to go. Just a whole maze of agonite tunnels. If you go in there, well, I don't need one, but mate, wait. I'll be able to find you again. You must, uh, you stay right here in the sh- ship. Dot, Mark, Doctor, just a minute. Where are you going? Milo, I just got to go to the generator room. I think one of their rockets must... I've gone through my transmitter unit. That radio there is whistling like some sort of hysterical clang canary. 
Milo leaves with his tool bag. Do- Jamie, Doctor, do you believe him? Doctor, I don't know, Jamie. What do you think? Do- Jamie, well, he never explained how he turned up the way he did. Did he? And that space corp ship was chasing him. Doctor, true, but I think we've got to trust him, Jamie. If we leave this ship, we'll never have a chance of finding the dollars again. Jamie, well, I don't see we've got much of a choice anyway. Look, it's up to... In, it's up there in space somewhere on a bit of that beacon heading for I don't know where. Doctor Fires Blast Blast Fires, I imagine. I think I think the pirates are probably going to take the pieces and melt them down for the Agonite. The trouble is we can't guess where the headquarters is. Sorry, there's no need to guess, Doctor. It's easy enough to work out. Doctor what? Zoe applied mathematics. Dr. Applied? Oh, I see. You've been messing about again, have you? Do- Zoe, oh, well, if you don't want to know what is discovered, Doctor. No, 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 no. Come along, surprise us. Zoe, this is the position of our, of our bit of beacon when Marlow first saw us. I've got the figures for the computer. Doctor, oh, yes, Zoe. And this is our position. Eight minutes later, we docked alongside. Doctor, yes, circle 14. Yes, go on. Zoe, well... Well, for this data, it's simple no, enough to work out. Original position, of course, do you see? Doctor, yes, except that I've made a little spirit. We veered roughly, roughly violently, and of course. Jerry, oh, yes, Doc, sorry, ah, oh, yes. By the I fell out for that look. Doctor, oh, Jerry, oh, sorry, electromagnetic waves. Always at the right angles of the distraction, perpetration. You know, Travel at 186,282 miles per second. Doctor, do, do they really? How interesting. Well, what's the answer? Zoe here. Doctor, what? Zoe, if I had stayed on our original course, the TARDIS would have landed and been 10 miles of where we are now. Except, of course, it would still be up there because we haven't, we wasn't travelling quite so fast, Doctor. Oh, God. Oh, bless my soul. Yes, of course. Yes, as you say, a simple calculation. I should have thought of that myself. Sorry, yes, I wonder why you didn't. But, Jamie, but did you, did all that talk mean a tide is going to land somewhere around here? Doctor, Jamie, it's all here. We've been down, plain as a pike staff. Jamie, aye, well, that's the case of pirates are going We're around here too. Doctor, yes, Jamie, you're right. Sorry, do you think Marlow's one of them? And why he's, uh, that's why he's landed here, Doctor. Yes, I think it's possible. J.I. seemed to know all about them, didn't he? Look, I think we ought to get out of here before he comes back. So, yes, so do I. We don't know if he's one of the gang or any of the gang room. We must have gone to get his gang. J.I., the Doctor checks outside the cabin. Doctor, all right. But if the TARDIS are landed here, we have to find it somewhere. Look, come on, you two. But for heaven's sake, but, but for heaven's sake, don't make a noise on the ladder. Jamie falls over something. Zoe, dot, Jamie, dot, Zoe. Jamie, Jamie, we're not on the ladder yet, are we? Mine shaft H crew. Over a nearby tunnel, devilish approaches a door and two other pirates. Craven? Wait here. He enters the Craven, Craven, Craven. H quarters where Craven is in the communications desk. Devilish? What's a panic, Craven? Craven, no panic, devilish. Well, you know what I mean. I've got a red emergency flash. Kevin, I wanted to talk to you, devilish. Devilish, well, Craven, what is the position at the plant? Devilish, we, we just started on the last section of Alpha 2. Craven, Craven, leave it. Devilish, leave it? Craven, so the hands capable of taking charge down there, isn't he? Devilish, yes, well, yes, but Craven, right. When you finish your flight service, I want you to take that ship out. Devilish, me, where? Craven, uh, Alpha 4 section, sections are being rerouted. Devilish rerouted? Craven to Lobos. Craven to Lobos? That's impossible, Craven. Craven, but I give an order. 
But I give an order? No, me, says his possible devilish. Devish. Well, you do now. You don't know how far Lobos is. I mean, the beacon rockets will have to be fueled, craving. That's right. That's exactly what I want you to do, devilish. Yeah, but the space courts got a V-ship and a flight of minnows up there. It's too dangerous, craving. Craven. Yes, it has to can't be done. There, they got to be drawn off, devilish. Well, why you? Why can't you do it? Then, then you're the master pilot. I'm only supposed to be the engineer. Craven, I got to do things. I got to do things down here. Devilish, yes, I got to do, go and waste my life a while. Craven, Craven draws a gun. Craven, you keep arguing, Devilish and Sultan. You have your, uh, jo- uh, have me having your job permanently. Now you're going to take that ship or aren't you? Devilish, yes, of course, Craven. I was only just trying to point out the dangers, that's all. Craven, now well then, now you're in the more danger than you ever will be in space. Alarm sounds devilish. It's perimeter alarm. Man, intruders and perimeter zero, tunnel nine. Perimeter tunnel nine. De Cavendish. Craven. Alert squads are coming down. Devilish. Is that, is it the space courts? Craven. I don't know. But wherever it is, we shall deal with them in the tunnel complex. Now get moving. Devilish. Right. Mineshaft, the Doctor, Jamie and Zoe arrived in a dark, dank future. School, lower tunnels, Zoe. I'm sure we should have turned right back there. Jamie, we need to turn right. Did, Jamie, we, we did turn right. Zoe, I mean earlier. We seem to be getting deeper. Jamie, what do you think, Doctor? Should we go on and, or turn back, Doctor? I think we should have, should have done as Milo told us. He said we've got a lot of loss. So the tunnels probably run hundreds of miles, Demi. Well, if you, they do, we're gonna get ourselves, we we'll never get ourselves out, Doctor. Shh, wait a minute, Jamie. Doctor, Zoe, what? Doctor, I can hear something, Jamie. There, there it is, a buzzy noise. Sorry, where is it coming from? Doctor, it seems to be up ahead there. Liz and 79 Mullo. Well, what's that's all right. Right, that's all right again. What is rain? Well, where are you? Zoe, Doctor, why aren't they aren't here? Oh, why can't some people do what they're told? I guess I'd better go out and try and find them. Strapping on his gun, taking a haversack with, with, a, with a cover from a cupboard. Milo leaves. Maya shaft. Do- Jamie, Doctor, hey. Ha- Jamie, hey, Doctor. There's a wee light there, look. Jamie, where? Jamie, just shine you through a crack of the wall. Zoe, you're right, it's a light, Jamie. Doctor, yes, it's reflected through the other side. I wonder if we can. Jamie, it's too high to see anything. Zoe, I'm the lightest. If you leave me, perhaps I could see through. Doctor, all right. You jump onto Jamie's back. Jamie, what? Oh, Jamie. Doctor, there we are. Can you see some anything? Zoe, a bit higher. Doctor, Jamie, hurry up. Peering through the cabin again beyond, so he sees three figures in a welding strokes, using thermal lances to the cut chink chunks of a large metal structure. Dr. Well, Zoe, there are three men in there. They think they're pirates. Jamie, how do you know they could be pirates? Zoe, no, they're cutting up bits of scrap. It looks like part of the beacon, Doctor. It looks as though we've stumbled on their headquarters. Yes, of course, that noise is an electrical furnace. Jamie, did you see that? Did you see the tallest? Sorry, no. Just a few men, Jamie. Doctor, we've got to try and stop them before they start cutting up. Doctor, yes. Now, the first thing we better do is a blaze of light hits them. They turn to see a portable float light going their way. The Doctor, Zoe, and Jamie. The Doctor, Zoe. 
Zoe, Jamie and Zoe retreat, encouraged by gunfire. Craven, keep moving. Doctor, all right. There's no need for that, Craven. Back, back, back. Zoe, quick. Down this passage. Doctor, run. Zoe runs for his caravan. Jamie and... Doctor, it looks as though we stumbled on the headquarters. Yes, of course, that noise is a electronic furnace. Jamie, did they see the tar- did you see the TARDIS? Sorry, no. Just three men, Jamie. Doctor, we've got to try and stop them before they start cutting up. Doctor, yes. That's the first thing we better do is a blaze of light hits them. They turn to see a portable flashlight. Floodlight. Coming their way. The doctor, Jamie and Zoe retreat, carried by gunfire. Okay, make keep keep moving. Doctor, all right. There's no need for all that. Craven, back, 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 back. Zoe, d- quick, down the passage. Doctor, run. Zoe dives into a crevice. Jamie and the Doctor follow, screaming as they fall.